Hello, it's Jason Pan with JDP Realty Group, and today I'm in northern part of New Braunfels at a beautiful one acre community called Heavenwood at Hunter's Crossing. There's a pre existing home behind me that's on the market right now as of late June 2021, and it is built in 2010. Let's go check it out. All right, this is a really nice, beautiful, done community it's a little bit older like i said this house was built in 2010 it is 34 82 square feet so far every house i've seen in this community has been very well kept and we're kind of just off not too far away from i-35 but far enough away that you don't hear anything and uh, just north of new Braunfels. All right, let's go check out the inside of this beautiful home loving the oak trees so far love that entryway and a beautiful uh, steel door nice entryway you do have a nice rock on the front of this a little snug if you wanted to have some outdoor seating area but you can make it work with this big beautiful door it's not a double door, but it is a beautiful solid steel door. And right when you come in, it does have the beautifully done stamped con acid stained concrete. Nice little light fixture. Kind of showing you the view from right when you walk in. You do have your dining room area set up. And they've got a little bar with some I definitely approve with their alcohol selections but you do have the office with a gorgeous tall French doors and some really thick wood plank flooring in here nice built-ins where you don't have to do anything new to the office just kind of move in set up your computer and you're good to go Like I said, we've got a nice size formal dining room. Tall ceilings with the beams. Show off the kitchen and living room area. Kitchen definitely feeds right into the living room area. It does have the uh, built-ins, but if you're not a fan of built-ins, that can be easily remedied. But let's check out this kitchen first because a lot of people really like a good kitchen. Starting with the stove area. No pot filler, but it does have a beautiful you done backsplash. Love they have the pot there. This is a KitchenAid cooktop. And it does have the dual ovens, but also by KitchenAid. Pantry size is a decent sized pantry size. Someone does, people do live here, so I've definitely got to respect their privacy and kind of go through all their stuff. It does have, they, you hear the dog on the back porch there. So unfortunately I'm not able to go on the back porch does have the microwave you kind of have to bend down to do that but they do have a microwave if you that can push a button up here that would automatically open up and they're not too expensive so if you don't want to be bending down like that all the time there is a workaround and it's not that difficult to replace it all right let's check out this sink Ooh, what do we have here it is Apparently lots. Oh, there it is. Okay, trash can or a little trash compactor type situation. I've never seen one quite like that. But it does have the stainless steel sink. It's not a 50-50 sink. But the two-tiered area does have a uh, KitchenAid washer, dishwasher there. And 
Going into the breakfast nook area, nice place for bowls and more cabinet space along the side and a perfect size breakfast nook. Since I don't want to go out and bother the dog that's out there who's desperately wanting my attention, let me just kind of show you the backyard from what I can see from here. This is just over one acre, so the property does extend beyond where that fence is, but you do have some beautiful oak trees back here. Oh, they got a lab. I got two labs out there. Hello, puppy. But if you're wondering, there is no dog smell in this house whatsoever, but you can tell their back porch area is set up for entertaining and the sun will set kind of just off an angle. So it will not be bearing into the back of this house, which is always a good thing. All right, we do have the high ceilings in here. Let's go check out the secondary bedrooms. As we go around, this house does have these, these two bedrooms have a little common area in it. Perfect if you've got kids who like to play video games like obviously these do. They can set up their uh, couch in here play their video games. You can tell they've got some little girls. So they've got their play area set up. And we have two bedrooms back here. So don't worry about it being purple. Paint is easy to fix. But you do have two good sized rooms. I didn't get the, get the light on for this one. So they do have granite in here. And then the other bedroom that's back off this wing with its own bathroom. I like the fact, I always mentioned I'm not a fan of the low sinks in the master bathroom, but it's perfect for in here because this is designed for the kiddos to be in here. And they do have their own, uh, well, I guess there's a door back there that I didn't open. I thought it was a closet where they would share the toilet and the bath shower combo. So if you had two kids, you wanted to have their own little wing, like kid world back here, this is perfect for it. But wait, there is more. There is a little <coughs> half upstairs section. Looks like they need to turn the air conditioner on. It's a little warm up here. Oh, that's why they have it listed at 78 up here. But this can easily be Someone else, if you have an older kid, this can be like their little apartment area with a full bath, shower combo, and a bedroom back here. And it's a good sized bedroom. Let's go see what the view outside is. It's a tree, so not a whole lot of view, but you can see a better look at the roof. This house is 10, 11 years old, so 10 years from now that roof might need replacing. Let's check out the closet in this room. That is a good sized closet. It's messy right now, these people are in the process of trying to move, but it's a good sized closet. All right, let's head back downstairs and look at the owner suite. All right, we'll just come, oh, I almost forgot the utility rooms. This does have a three car garage. Very important if you've got a lot of uh, adult toys. Let's see if I can get, find a light here. There you go. They've got their kayak mount on the wall. 
they've got their other stuff, but a good size garage. Got your mud room, all the extra shoes, and you can tell they're using it pro appropriately. They got backpacks set up. Well, let's check out. They do have a separate entrance on the side of the house coming into this laundry room, which is a really good size laundry room. And yes, it does have a sink. All right, now we're going to head up. Oh, let me check out the powder room that would be open to the general public. Uh, wow, they went well, with a really modern design. I really like it. With the cool features. And yes, that's a wallpaper, but this is a really neat wallpaper that they've done here. It's kind of cool. And I do love the sit on top sink. All right, back to the formal dining living room area with a fireplace where they got the rock going all the way up. And the owner's suite, looks like we got a little light issue there, a little flickering, but nicely painted tray ceilings with the knockout and access to your back porch living area. So we can get a look at it from this side without the doggies bothering us. And not really good look because they got the really cool shutters on this. So I can't really push them open and see. Got some lights that need replacing, but we do have eight foot doors in here, which I always like when you're getting a house at this caliber, eight foot doors really set it off. All right, we do have a big soaking tub, a jetted soaking tub, and a walk-in shower with a nice little step there. And then the vanities. You've got your makeup section, more cabinets up top. Oh, they got like a little TV in there, cute. But this is definitely a really nice granite. Take a better look at it. This is definitely an upper level granite compared to just regular ornamental. That's just the linen closet right there. This is the only closet. It's not as big as what some other closets I've seen are but they're pretty good size. And a big toilet area with uh, cabinets already built in. And except for the other two bedroom, the secondary bedrooms, you've got the uh, um, stained concrete going throughout. Very good, good house for entertaining too. All right, a quick view of the Heavenwood uh, um, Community Amenity Center. You got tennis courts, like four of them there. Uh, right behind the dumpster, you have a beautiful sand volleyball pit, which they don't have the net up. I wonder if that's due to COVID. A nice little community center area, perfect for hosting kids' birthday parties along with having a playground area right there for them. This is really a nicely done community. Now, is it vintage oaks? No, but uh, it is still quite nice. You can tell vintage oaks kind of took what this community was doing and really went nuts with it. But right now, as of uh, toward the beginning of July 2021, there's really not much available in vintage oaks. But you do have a little kiddie pool area there restrooms let me come around here and 
and a very beautiful pool. And if you could see, let's see, you got a nice pool area, try not to intrude on people's privacy too much, but a nice pool. And then back over there, you got another pool. I'm assuming that's for the kiddos. All right. All right, that can wrap up the tour of this beautiful home built in Heavenwood at Hunter's Crossing in northern New Braunfels. Um, they are asking 769k for this house, and it's been on the market for a little bit, so uh, there might be a little wiggle room. We'll have to see. Anyways, I'm doing this video for my out-of-state client. If she passes on it, I will put it as a public video. So uh, if once it goes to public, if you're looking for a realtor who does this for you, feel free to send me a text and I'm also going to put a link in there so you can schedule time for either a Zoom call or a regular phone call or just meet up with me. All right, as always, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.